welcome to Ridge Life. I'm Tim, and today on Ramblings, it is hot. My goodness, it is hot today, guys. It's uh, about 103 right now, and the last heat index I, I looked at was 112. 112 degree heat index. This, today's Thursday, happy Thursday, guys. Tomorrow, Friday, is supposed to be 104 degrees with 118 degree heat index. Oh, well at work today, the AC went out in our office building. You know, I work in a steel mill, so it's a bazillion degrees in the steel mill, right? But you, you, you want a little bit of respite when you come back to your office. Well, our office got well over 90 degrees. The AC, we had a, you know, the AC company working on it and everything. Um, and they were still working on my left. They they got it going, got it off. You know, it got down to 90 one time. Oh my goodness, I'm just sweating, sweating buckets. And um, but I know a lot of you guys have had it have it worse right now. So I'm not complaining. I've got power back at the ridge. You know, Tuesday night we got power back there uh, at Grandma Carol's log home. And of course now I got power at the camper. Had to got to put the generator up. But there are okay, over 120,000 people lost power in our area. Well, they've restored power to over 100,000 homes. Over 100,000 homes. So I think currently there's between 20 and 30,000 people still without power. And that's with the heat we're seeing right now. So if you're a praying type person, pray for the people of the Mid-South and the Memphis uh, area, Memphis, Tennessee. Because guys, that storm that came through was no joke. I mean, it was no joke. I, I've never ever experienced a storm like that. And again, I think I told you I, I've, I've been through hurricanes. I've been through uh, funnel clouds, and I, you know, never actually in a tornado F3, F4 that hit, you know, F5. But I've been in tornado, tornadic weather. But that, those wind shears, the, the, that, 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 that driving wind that knocked over those 150-year-old oak trees. That was no joke, guys. That was no joke. So right now, there's still 20 to 30,000 people without power. We're, we're, you know, getting generators out to as many people as we can. No joke. Uh, speaking of no joke, you guys saw that the, that NFL player, the retired NFL quarterback that uh, died down in uh, Destin, Florida. They're saying now that it wasn't Riptide, um, but it was at Destin Beach where I was. And some of you are like, Tim, I thought you were at Kissimmee. I was at Kissimmee. Uh, spent all week in Kissimmee right there in Orlando with the family that me and my sister came back and spent the day in Destin. Uh, we met friends there and had a good old sweet time with them and uh, got to share some really good uh, 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 personal time. And um, But yeah, the water was uh, double red flag day when we were there. Now, uh, that, that, that NFL player that died, supposedly it was only a yellow flag day when he was there, but they said that the six people he was with we're struggling to get to a sandbar 150 feet out. Now you got six young people. He was in his 30s, like 35 or something like that. You know, uh, NFL quarterback, retired, but uh, he was in good shape. So I don't know what you know what other uh, issues were going on there, but that those rip tides are no joke. I, I will definitely um, pay better attention to that in the future when I'm down there. Uh, to those flags. I know the jellyfish flag, you definitely want to watch out for the jellyfish flag. My daughter, uh, we were down there and I think it's a purple flag for jellyfish. Correct me. If anybody knows down below what color the jellyfish warning flag is, leave that down below. I'm really curious. But I think it was purple for some reason. Uh, sorry about the bouncing up and down, guys. A lot of bumps here. Um, but when my daughter was younger, Alyssa, we went down and uh, the man -o -wars, those Portuguese man -o -wars or whatever species is in the Gulf Coast there uh, came in and she got covered in uh, the stings from the uh, nematocytes or nematocysts or whatever they are those little nodules on the uh, uh, man o -war, uh, jellyfish and, and it just tore her up we had to go and run into CVS pharmacy and buy all the sprays and creams and you know so watch the flags when you go to the beach guys seriously watch those flags she was fine no scarring and all that got lucky speaking of scarring I watched um, Real Talk with Simple Life Reclaimed today, and those poor kids, oh my goodness, if you're again, if you're a praying type of person, pray for Abe and uh, you know the girls, uh, and Belle and Gary, 
three, by the way. Um, right now, I think just two of them uh, have it. You know, um, I don't know if it's Julia. Uh, I, I, don't, I don't remember, but Abe definitely had it from head to toe. Ended up being, you know, um, um, ringworm, which guys, ringworm is not worm related. Ringworm is not worm related. Uh, it is a fungal infection. And uh, usually happens when you get an open sore, you get a fungal infection, and it spreads all over. But his, they, and I believe the, the, the I believe it turned into impetigo. Now, you know, a lot of people call it infantigo because infants get it so much, but actually it's with a P, impetigo. Um, I remember my cousin got it when he was young, and oh, it was just terrible open wound. And uh, again, that's a bacterial infection. So he started off with a fungal infection and uh, turned into a bacterial infection. You know scratching it and all that kind of stuff so you know, definitely when your kids get those type of things you have to keep them scratching keep the wounds clean and you know mel's a great mom and gary's a great dad they, they take care of all that but they live in the country the kids play with the animals the kids get dirty and uh kids will be kids and sometimes stuff like that happen you know i've had all kinds of stuff um and that's just part of being a parent and being a kid right uh if you are the kind of parent that keeps your kid inside playing a video game all year long never gets to taste dirt never gets to feel you know dirt under their fingernails never gets to climb a tree you're the reason society is the way it is right now guys we need more parents like Melanie and Gary and Anthony and Roxanne guys we need more parents just like them that allow their kids to get out and enjoy nature I, I, I totally respect those guys so much for their parenting skills so anybody that disses my family friends on their parenting skills you ain't no friend of mine now that's what I'm talking about um, but guys yeah definitely hopefully uh, Abe uh, you know the kids get better and because Freedom Weekend is this weekend guys uh, I am gearing up uh, gonna get the camper the Ridge crib ready um, get the generator ready because you know david's off grid so i gotta bring the generator ain't gonna have no power while i'm out there so i'll bring my generator um it's gonna be so hot but i think it's actually gonna be cooler this weekend uh than it is thursday friday today and tomorrow i think this weekend is supposed to cool off a little bit especially there in arkansas so hopefully it's only around 100 you know what i'm talking about um but we're gonna have a good old time but hopefully um mel and gary can make it because you know your kids are sick uh they said they may tag team it but mel and gary totally totally okay if you can't make it uh we 100 percent understand i'm definitely gonna miss you if you can't make it um but totally understand um so it's gonna be a shindig guys it is going to be a shindig if you don't know what shindig is you need to look that up that's a good country term right there it's a scientific term for a country event right the shindig um but uh david from come on homesteading Mike and Alyssa have been working their tails off getting Come On Mountain ready for uh, Freedom Weekend. Now, this is the third annual Freedom Weekend. I went to the first one on the 41.36. I didn't make it to the second one, unfortunately. I never want that happen again. Uh, but this is the third annual, and this year it is on Come On Mountain. Come on. It's going to be an awesome time. Uh, they've cleared out camping areas. they cleared out parking areas. Uh, they got places for the RVs to go uh, so if you're in a tent area you'll be over here if you're in a campers you'll be over here parking's up over there by the power line uh, they've done a wonderful wonderful job getting that place ready. There's gonna be games for the kids games for the adults um, and uh, I'm gonna be bacheloring it this year uh, by myself um, hopefully next year it ain't gonna, ain't gonna be that way uh, uh, I won't you know I won't share some life with some some someone significant you know uh tim you just need to stop worrying about it so much i'm not worrying about it i just uh i enjoy life and i want to share that enjoyment with someone else i'm i'm not searching i'm not seeking but whatever uh god is putting in my path uh i'm definitely going to take the opportunity to uh explore that and get to know that i'm a one woman person guys in case you didn't know that's what we're talking about women you know I'm an XY, and uh, I'm only interested in XX, you know, not, 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 not you know, yeah, well, I, that didn't come out right. XX chromosome, be people with XX chromosomes. I'm XY, I'm only interested in people with XX chromosomes. Get your mind out of the gutter, guys, come on. Goodness gracious. Um, but 
I'm definitely interested in sharing my blessings with someone significant. Um, not in a hurry, to, you know, to, to, to do anything dramatic or extreme. And that's, that's, again, I'm only a one XX chromosome dating type of person. I'm not going to uh, do that with multiple uh, and, and dog around. That's, that's never been me. I, I, I've either been married or with somebody significant my entire life. So uh, I'm that kind of guy. You know what I mean? I'm, 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 a, I'm, a, I'm a one woman guy. And uh, that's the way I'll always be. I'm never going to be otherwise. Or I'll be a no woman guy. You know, Paul, the uh, Apostle Paul said, it is good for a man to marry. You know, to have someone like that. But if you don't, do it right, okay? If you don't, do it right. Don't be a dog. Don't be a dog. That's enough of that. Um, so tomorrow, today when I get home, by the way, Elvis has left the building. Now, I know y'all are concerned. Elvis, Sylvia, and Goldie have left the building. They are no longer in that little corral thing I made for them. They are in their new abode, and you will get to see that very soon. I'm, I'm working on that video. Um, you'll see that before the dozer video. <laughs> you bet <yes>, you will. <laughs> that video is not nine hours long. Um, and you'll see what uh, what Elvis is doing. And oh, Elvis, he uh, he was just as feisty as ever. Some of y'all wanted to see me get him out and get him back in there. And I think I may have some uh, some. Uh, the, yeah, I'm not even gonna tell you what happened in the video. So you'll just have to wait and see on uh, that video of moving Elvis to his new house. Elvis has left the building. Um, finishing up a couple other things, and then tomorrow, well, again, I, I gotta go shopping today, I gotta do laundry today, get all my stuff ready for the Saturday trip to Come On Mountain, because tomorrow my daughter and granddaughter are coming down, and we are going to the Orpheum Theater in Memphis, Tennessee, to watch the uh, Broadway play of Disney's Frozen. Yeah, yeah, Tim's gonna take go see Frozen, but taking care of the ladies. You know what I'm saying? My mom actually is going to, Grandma Carol's going. So Grandma Carol, Alyssa and Adelie and me, I called to make sure my tickets are available. We'll call. Uh, we've got really nice tickets. We've got really nice tickets. We're in the lower balcony and center. Um, uh, it's, it, uh, yeah, really, really good tickets. So Adelie should just love her time seeing Olaf and, you know, Elsa it should be a really, really good time. You know, there'll be a lot of singing and a lot of earplugs. I mean, I, I, I shouldn't say I'll be wearing earplugs. I shouldn't say that. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. Yes, I just snorted. That was funny. Um, yeah, for those of you that are still down in Florida enjoying the beach, that blue water, I'm so envious of you eating all that good seafood down there, getting up, having the scrumptious breakfast enjoying that blue green emerald water there on the uh the emerald coast from panama city on all the way over to pensacola in that destin area fort walton beach you guys i'm super envious because yeah it's a hundred bazillion degrees there but man the the ocean breeze that comes through ooh, i still got my video my florida video too my florida vacation video and i'll tell you right now guys there is some drone footage from Destin, Florida. Like, Tim, you can't fly a drone in that area because all the helicopters and the planes and stuff. Well, it's right. You have to have, you have, to have uh, the license and the registration. You have to have the piloting permits and all that stuff. So, uh, but uh, when you, when you're, when you're, when you're, when you're, when you're doing it like me, you know, you, you get the resources. You take care of the, uh, the things that need to be taken care of to get to the content for the people like you. <laughs> uh, that's right. Um, so yeah, I got some really beautiful video from Florida. You guys are really going to enjoy. Really going to enjoy. And you'll get that out. You'll get that before the dozer video. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Don't pull out in front of me, car. Oh my gosh, car just pulled out right in front of me. Um, man, the devastation of the trees are all still down everywhere. I mean, my ride to work, this two-lane county highway after I get off the interstate, is nothing but tree, tree, tree. You know, the, the saw teams came and cleared. I cleared some. You saw that one road, but that was a back road. But the, the big saw teams, county saw teams, came in and got the roads cleared, but there's so many trees on either side of the road right now. But thankful, so thankful to all the linemen 
They're out working on these utility lines right now in a 112 degree heat index. Thank you guys for restoring power to the ridge and uh, all those you're still restoring power to. You guys, you guys are super, super amazing. Appreciate you very, very much. Well, guys, um, I'm super excited about this summer. Um, my mom asked me last night, Tim, uh, when you get back from uh, uh, the Freedom Weekend, are you going to stay home and relax a little bit? Well, I've got the concert. I'm going to go camping again. Um, I'm going to Disney in October. So there, there is a August, September area. Of course, then bow season starting up. You know, I got to start getting the... Of course, my plan, guys, is here in July to get back um, on the land. You know, get that, get those brush piles. You know, that's 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 pretty paramount. Get the brush piles burned. Get the land leveled. Get the, the posts up for the barn, and really start getting on that barn. And then, really, I'm hoping in September, no August. I'm sorry, August. You know, the barn. You know, I'm gonna have to get the roofing and all that kind of stuff. Uh, I've never built a barn like that before in my life, so it's it's gonna be a, a learning thing for me. I may have to get David. Or uh, Anthony or Gary to come down and help a little bit. Yeah, I'll talk to Mel and Gary about doing a trip. They'd be wanting to come, and maybe the late summer, you know, the kids are still out of school. They can come down. I'll be at a phase on the barn where they can assist with some of those big beams, getting them connected and everything. So, but I'd really like to have the barn, you know, uh, moving great forward in August. Uh, that way, September, uh, I can start getting the the fencing up and the animals and all that stuff. Uh, again, I'm not rushing any of this. I'm not giving deadlines. I'm not setting dates. I'm just saying these are what my uh, my ideal ideals would be for uh, seeing things done. Um, I I have the only thing I'm committed to this year is enjoying life. I am committed to enjoying this life that God's given me. This opportunity to share these blessings, uh, to go visit uh, as many people love on as many people uh, just hug on as many people things you couldn't do during the rona thing you know um i'm really want to catch up with a lot of that now i'm sorry i'm on a back road getting bouncy here um but i think i'm gonna leave you leave you with that i'm gonna leave you with the love okay sharing the love that's what i want everyone out there to do if you can share some love today you know phone a friend phone a loved one um, shake a hand, kiss a baby, hug a grandma, do something nice for your fellow man today, okay? That's that's my, my action item for you besides telling me the flag color of the uh, jellyfish warning on the beach. Um, my action item for you is to just give some love to someone who needs it, okay? So guys, until next time, I hope everyone has a blessed, blessed day. Keep rambling and go Ridge Life.